to think about baseball things this weekend. It's going to be windy. It's going to be cold. Uh, temperatures, uh, like I said, are going to be uh, in the single digits, perhaps below zero as far as the wind chills go. So be prepared. Uh, things are going to change. It's not that bad right now. It's not nice, but it's not as bad as it's going to be. Uh, 25 in Columbia, 22 in Parkton. It's 24 degrees in rising sun. And at the top of the hour, the winds were calm. But there's all kinds of stuff happening weather-wise around us. And number one, watching an area of low pressure coming out of West Virginia. That's going to pass south of us. Second feature is a cold front coming out of the Great Lakes. That's going to sweep through here this evening. And that's why we have a winter weather advisory in effect for this evening. As that Arctic front comes through, it will likely kick up a band of snow showers and it could at least coat the ground. But uh, most of the snow, at least for right now, is missing us to the south with that area of low pressure. They're getting some accumulating snow down in North Carolina, the southern part of Virginia, and back into parts of West Virginia at the present time. Expand the view a little bit here. If you look right along that Arctic boundary. You can see some snow just south of Chicago. So again, all of that is going to sweep through the mid-Atlantic this evening and usher in the coldest air mass of the season. Let's take a look at this on Instant Weather Futurecast. We're going to take the time frame into 6:30 this evening. And here comes the Arctic front. It'll be approaching Hagerstown at that time. And you see this band of snow along it. It'll sweep through between 6 and 9 o'clock this evening. And again, probably produce a half inch, maybe an inch of snow in some places. The snow won't be a big deal tomorrow, but with that strong northwest flow, there's a chance that some of the lake effect snow showers could make it all the way down into Baltimore during the day on Saturday. But the bigger deal will be the wind. The winds are going to be gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour on Saturday. The temperatures will be in the teens and low 20s. When you put all that together, the wind chills will likely be below zero for a good part of the evening on Saturday. This is a forecast wind chill for 7 o'clock in the evening on Saturday and you can see below zero numbers showing up uh, one below Westminster two at the airport in the mountains the wind chills will be anywhere between 10 and maybe 20 below zero depending on the wind gusts on the mountains of West Virginia and Western Maryland so get ready some big time cold is coming in and we got a little snow in the forecast for Monday too. increasing clouds this afternoon some flurries possible late high temperatures upper 20s to around 30 this evening snow showers are likely as the Arctic front comes through again a little bit of an accumulation is possible the winds will kick up behind the front. The temperatures will drop into the teens and they're not going to move much tomorrow. Upper teens to around 20. Wind chills will be down close to zero at least. Chance for snow showers and flurries. The wind will die down on Valentine's Day. It'll be sunny but cold starting at 7 in the morning, getting up to about 23 in the afternoon. A good chance for snow on Monday and then it'll mix in with and change over to rain on Tuesday.